Till McCulloch's discovery of stem cells is like bang. It was like the discovery of gravity. It led to so many different thoughts. We had a feeling there were stem cells to directly showing there were stem cells and be able to actually understand how those stem cells behave. It's the biggest discovery, as fundamental as DNA by Watson and Crick. Akin to the discovery of insulin by Banting and Best. Their discovery of finding stem cells is like finding a new planet. We can see a future where stem cell-based therapies are really going to transform the way we deliver care for many serious diseases uh, today. Rather than using drugs as crutches to uh, help an alien organ work, we could repair the organ so that it's back to its normal health. I'd like to be able to say in five years that we have developed uh, novel forms of curative cancer treatment based on targeting the cancer stem cell. I can foresee a time when stem cells could be used to regenerate muscle, not only for muscular dystrophy, but many other different forms of neuromuscular disease. The development of, of therapies for regeneration of pancreases and brains and colons and, and other sorts of tissues, uh, I think we're just at the beginning, just at the cusp of that. Without Till and McCullough, the field would have been set back by a long, long ways. I think that uh, they were definitely uh, ahead of their time. The idea that they could identify something truly novel and then be able to create a whole new genre of cell biology, that is truly a, a unique contribution. Their work established Toronto as a international center for stem cell research. So they really set up the whole field of stem cell research and all the things that you can identify as successes in Canada since can be traced back in one way or another to the legacy that they, they put in place. There's no question Till and McCullough are the fathers of the stem cell field. We now have about 200 researchers in Canada who are directly the scientific offspring from those uh, two pioneers. Those people populate the labs of sick kids, Mount Sinai, the university, the University Health Network. And together, they represent an incredible concentration of scientific effort directed toward an understanding of what stem cells mean. To this day, uh, I think the scientific culture in Canada is uh, cooperative, it's collaborative, so um, part of their legacy indeed is uh, the, getting people to work together. They're role models because they were humble, they shared, they were wonderful mentors. In short, they were wonderful people. And when I think about my own legacy, that's what I would like it to be. There's no question that they are innovators. Canadian heroes. Geniuses. They were like 40 years ahead of the rest of us. We only realized um, their, their magic and their legacies will be here for forever.